All right, we've been busy with all of our stuff that's going on, but at the same time, now with Bob here, and people start calling on us and saying, hey, can you do this, can you do that? So we are doing like a few one-off projects for friends. And like, uh, so this is Zach's father-in-law's car, Dennis, and just basically needs finished. As you'll see in the detail stuff in here, that there's a lot of, there's a lot more there than was originally portrayed to us when Jason's like, hey, can you do it? It's probably only a few days worth of work. And obviously it's gonna be uh, probably a few months worth of work, but we'll see. So the, the, the goal is that we're heading out down to Florida with 2.0 with Aiden's car and all of that. This will go up on the hoist. Bob will get some time to work on it next week. Um, and then he'll be down to Florida, but then coming back, Hopefully everything knock on wood goes well with these vehicles. They just stay in Florida for a month for the um, NMCA deal and this will be worked on for the month and hopefully it gets done in that month time, but I don't don't know. I mean, it may be a parts issue and stuff like that, but this, um, but these are, like I said, the one-off projects pro charge deal. So you see a lot more details in this video on that. And that's the introduction to the sick fab YouTube channel, which Obviously, if you're watching this, then you've seen that. So, kind of cover more in detail, more in depth is the idea because we'll gloss over a lot of the stuff in my normal Tom Bailey YouTube videos. But here, we're going to give you more in depth of the build and the different things like that for the people who really want to see kind of the what goes into it in a more detailed perspective. So, that's what I got for you on that. And thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to this channel, subscribe to the Tom Bailey channel, and. Uh, let us know what you think. Let us know what you want to see more of. We're happy to show more details of what we're doing on this channel. So, thanks guys. Dennis, my wife Charlene, Mankato, Minnesota, Madison Lake, Old Tom Bay, just south of Minneapolis. This is kind of my badass car. <laughs> 1963 SS. It's like a thousand horse on the street. I, I bought this in 1984. And that's when I started working on it. Took it apart, put it together, took it apart, put it together, changed it, updated it. I think I finally got to where I want it now. We've already had this car probably in 25 states. Well, the, the last time we had it going, I had I ran nitrous on it. I was always on nitrous all the time. I'd run it, I'd always be empty of nitrous wherever I went because I was on the button too much. <laughs> I think he filled the bottles three times on to make it through the week. So we'll go with the Pro Charger. You know, it'll always be there for us, you know. Being around Jason, you gotta have power, you know. It needs a, it needs a professional touch now. But uh, it's, a, it's a pretty good build. It's um, got like a 49 Mosier narrowed rear end. Uh, the transmission is 6K, 600. And that's been all rebuilt to handle extra horsepower. And then there's a radiator, there's an AC too. condenser that's in the trailer that's got to go in the front of this thing yet. Pin jerk conditioning. Um, does it fit? Does it fit no, with this? Height wise, do we, do we have height? Yes, yeah, so we do. We do it as we a used. factory. It is a factory one to fit in this opening. But it doesn't hit that plate down there? Yeah, it it's, it's got to run into this. I would assume. Okay. And under here and there with all this mechanism, I would think for sure that we'll have to figure some stuff out. It's probably the same one we put in Rocky's car. We left the rivers out here. This grill comes, this comes out really easy. We left all the rivers out for you. Yeah. It just got just a little foam here and you just tuck it and roll yeah. it out and the headlights all stay into one. It's right. kind of hard to get out of here. Is this right powder coated or painted? Painted. Painted. Okay. So there's a few bolts holding this in, but we need rivers so you can get it out easier. Uh, in my mind, a master cylinder, I didn't order the combo yet uh, to make sure we can fit the slave cylinder for the clutch. It had one before, but it was janky, clear plastic and looked really ugly, so okay. it's gone. Okay. So we need the slave cylinder and a reservoir combo with the master. And if we gotta go to hydro, if there's not enough room, we gotta go to hydro. It was manual before. Yes. Um, I would like a way to either, however this fits in here, to, to, they, to they, have they a cover for that that clears I believe clock? so gotcha. yes I would like something that stops us so the header heat can't get to just the half shroud kind of thing yeah. okay or this thing ends up filling this cavity as part of your design coolness your design no <laughs> okay yep um it's gonna be coil on plug uh 
Fuel injectors right now are in the holes, but it needs them aluminum hats because the fuel injectors are too short, so it needs the 14 millimeter <coughs> extensions, which I, I'll write down on my list. Because okay. those are the same injectors I use in the same holly height, so it's got to be the 14 millimeter extensions. Uh, and 16s. You want ANs on everything. Yeah, how to sort that out. I'll show you our spare what, parts uh, when we go to unload everything. You yeah, there's a lot of parts braided. braided. <laughs> well, that's what I have in stock. We'll talk about that. Thanks. Um, a few bolt holes, they're, they're all in the containers all the and labeled. Yeah. These brackets are off. You left them, must have spat them or something. They're all laying in the back. They go on here? Yeah. They're all laying in the trunk yeah. uh, bolts. Probably like a Motion Race Works Where or a Sean's. Valve covers? No. Where's the coil? I bought these for him for Christmas a long time ago, so we're going to use them. Because I spent $600 on chrome and these two valve covers. I got took. got took. And so. But we want to get uh, breathers on these guys to a, either a Sean's alloy billet catch tank or a motion race yep. or something that fits in with the blackout theme like or yeah. whatever we're headed. Yep. Here's a converter would be better. Um, Is this all staying polished? Yes. We're not going to. That part of it is. Like no, that. and the intake's going to get polished and the tubes will end up what needs to be to make it look the build. Actually, I'm saying yes and no. Maybe some of it is, maybe some of it ain't. Okay. He likes sparkly. Yeah. And I, you know I do. Yeah, your, your <laughs> car is... Jesus. It's over the... This, this looks like a small problem, too. Uh, that mo the sway bar is just... Uh, the bolts need to be moved. That it was hooked up originally in this location and in use with this. Okay. So that the bolts just need to be moved so up and this slides up here. Uh, here, if you that. just glance through the hole and see the uh, sway bar link, how far laid back it is, it just needs to get drawn ahead an inch, and it'll, it has enough play in it to get out of the way. That has been all functional before. What's that, all the steering? The, yeah, the in the sway bar, sway bar. The power yeah. steering, it all used to, it, it did work. Yep. So what we didn't do, we put new A-frames on, we never had a line this, with new A-frames around. Uh, this joint was not in here yesterday, so we he ordered a joint, and we just put a spot tack on here so you can push it and move it around. So it's just spotted on each side. Okay. Okay. So we can bring it here today. Yep. It's uh, spline shafts on both sides, but right now we just ordered a spline and a smooth bore to get it to do this. So okay. if you got to throw that away and get your, what you need to make it work. Yep. Uh, single bar hidden behind this column. We are doing a roll bar. Our stuff ends right here. Uh, uh, here we go. Oh, I want a, a full cage, no. double funny car. She's it didn't been crash, in a, but it's been, been in the <laughs> rhubarb and then back up on. <laughs> in the rhubarb. Oh my god. Um, the factory tank fits in there. It's been modified with uh, dual Phantoms uh, air motive, like you did in Cowboy Up. Okay. And that you can get through there to change out pumps later on. That's going to be the access panel? Yes. Long term when the interior is done, this will go away. I'll have that all filled in and whatever interior is done and it will have a leather panel or whatever that hides all this stuff. The battery, I had it mounted right here in one of those black Summit boxes. Yeah. But we want something, something, whatever you don't really do. You know, a little You weird. want a metal. Yeah, and with the cool fittings down. that you do in your angle jobs um, and your different do size Do you want tools. the aluminum box? If that works, yes. Uh, but I like Just make it cool. Like Aiden's car, I built a battery box inside the aluminum box. Mm. Then the aluminum box zeuses to the metal frame. That sounds really and cool. And can come off. Make it high tech, Bob. There's a lot of shit okay. here. Okay. You're just gonna have to do inventory and sort out. Okay. There's no oil in any. There is a lot of. And there's more layers, and there's more in the trunk in this back seat. This car sat at my house for a couple years and was my problem, and I tinkered with it and did a few things, and then... And you're passing the torch to uh, me. The torch is... I gotta work on Cowboy Up. Now, we need to do an inch and three-quarter to seven-eighth step at a thousand horsepower. I, I, that's not my department. We will put them on there and see what happens, and uh, we can do step. It is right. too small, right? I brought along in case you can use them or something. This is our tank deal. Okay. It's not uh, so dropping. It's, it's not ready. It's just started. Okay. Like we're on step we three of the directions. This. Dennis Taylor. Okay. I believe. So these will end up going away. They have covers for the sender will go in. Yeah. But there is a gasket, a cork gasket cover it's that all, covers the original. That's the filler. The original filler tube. No, no this is 
Oh, it's on the side. This okay. is a oh, Hanks yeah. ink okay. tank for EFI for an Impala, okay. but we needed more more ponies. Yeah. Oh, she feels right here. There's no worries. So much stuff. Where's that condenser? Uh, in, in here. here, right here. Oh, man. <laughs> I thought it would fit better back there. It will, it will fit better back there. But yeah, you can see it's not going to make it from here to there. Right. Because this would, this isn't here. Correct. So yeah, we're going to have to cut, we're going to have to cut this. Or get rid of forward. that air cooler and you just make the one that goes in there to make everything work. And make the two. We will have to assess. And make this come to here and this come to here symmetrical and make your whole thing. Yeah. I, well, like we'll, I said, I'm not painting you in the Yeah, before it is determined we're d ditching that, I can probably cut the tops off, cut the bottom off and make That's my scary. own tanks. Because we'll probably just put a shift light on the column of some kind or hidden in there and make it so the screen is down. And which screen is this? Whatever, the 6.8 Pro or something, we don't have it yet. Who makes it? Holly's. Holly's. Okay. It's all going to be Holly's So stuff. it's like his then? Yes. <clears throat> uh, these are extra pipes. This More extra pipes. stainless pipes. I don't know. Get the Robin on. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, I felt all going down the road somewhere. The, to the tires are one inch wider. I can get taller and I'll go wider. So the, the directionals, the same as we got, they're an inch wider, 1.8 taller overall okay I just said get them because if we start making things go through the inside of those wheel wells I don't want anything running into them yeah they're, after they're back ordered we'll get it all out. done um, we forgot one thing though we had the we had this three inch stainless steel pipes this exhaust comes all the way out the back yeah and it comes out right chrome extensions that are already made they come out right below the frame here and they come out right here you know that 63 look I have them, nice shape, forgot to bring them. So you have, everything's there to go to the back of the mufflers. Okay. Once you mount the muffler, the I pipes, I had the pipes to go the rest of the way, okay. all nice ones. I will sort out how to get them here one way or another. If I come to get my motor, I'll buzz over and bring them or... There's no more tractor races. Okay. Not till June. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I ordered from Doug, I ordered the Motion Race Works throttle body oh, and the V-band. And the V-band flange setup, just like the ones you got here off yeah. of that car. Right no, the uh, vintage air comes yeah, through that hole the, right down inside there. Does it have that billet bulkhead that goes in there and everything? Right now, it has to a it? stamped steel one. Oh, really? So if we have to figure out the no, billet. I'm just I've, I've seen the the billet. The where it's all steel. AN. Yeah, I wish we it. had that, but that wasn't an option when we ordered that. We ordered the vintage air like four or five years ago yeah. too, um, because right now the hoses just go through and hook up directly, and it's not that much fun. Yeah, no. The bulkhead would be awesome. Yeah, so we could just put the hoses on yeah. and be done. Somewhere in your vintage air mind, uh, <laughs> we want one of those, I think they call it the trinary switch or whatever, so it has the low pressure, high pressure, and be able to turn off with RPM. Okay, you're So when this thing's swinging like, 7,000, it sh it, you know, at 40,000, 4,000, it shuts the air conditioner off. I don't off. know anything about that. I don't know, that's why we'll I'm, pl I'm planting the seed. Yeah. I'm not the air conditioning guy, so. Because he spends a lot of time, 5,000 and up in the RPM range. He does? Yeah. <laughs> massive burnout, massive Is scene. that what it takes to get through the rhubarb? Yes. It's 5,000. Yep. <laughs> okay. What's the name of the car going to be? We haven't figured that out. Well, rhubarb he says is kind of trailer queen. Rhubarb is cool. Rhubarb is kind of that, that color. color. It should be rhubarb. Is the I told him the he's had it in the ditch before, and I've been in the rhubarb a little bit. So <laughs> rhubarb would be a cool name. But the old motor, we leave to go on the Hot Rod Power Tour, and he's got two 15-pound bottles in the trunk of nitrous. And I said, now take it easy till we get to the Power Tour, and we're in the middle of everything. Uh, so you got some nitrous left over. We had to get them filled the next morning on the way. Oh my God. Right. Carry, carry you some of it. Yeah. 30 pounds? 30 pounds. 30 pounds. To get to the pot. Just to get there. Tree. Yeah. How much tread did you have left? Oh, he just smolders everything. <laughs> I think he filled the bottles three times on to make it through the week. That's a lot. 
That's a lot. That's a lot. But the motor lived for 10,000 miles, and when we took it apart, the bearings were to the steel on the thrust side, <laughs> but it lived and it was perfect. I believe the drive shaft would be better off if it could come back. Okay. Remember we pulled that thing out like two or three times, I cut it off and had to grind the splines out so that it wouldn't hit in the radius of the okay. tranny business up there. Just so we had to get, get the exhaust on the outside up here, so we don't have to go underneath the frame. Right, because of the X-ray. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. One time I was in the elevator and a 13 year old kid came up to me and goes, as a car show, he's. I love your car. What's wrong with your exhaust? <laughs> Young kid told me that. Right. Yeah, I've seen a lot of these cars with that exhaust hanging down. It's not. It's not a sweet look. I know it's tough because the floor pans hang down so far, and then the X frame goes through the center of the car. We'll have to get it up on the hoist and just kind of analyze a few things before I start saying I'm going to do this and that. This thing is going to end up with a crank trigger and a cam uh, sink distributor in it. Okay, yeah, that's not me. Kinda. What do you need me to do? Mount the crank trigger picker upper. The picker upper. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the wheel going to go? I don't know, but well, look we, at we. Yes, we, but let me just show you the options. I believe we can order this ATI balancer with the with wheel the on the back built into it. Okay. I just started researching that. On I the was back, thinking, eh? Yeah. Oh. Okay. So I just started researching that, and if we could sort that out, it's just part of pulling All right, that. guys, here, we gotta stop for a second because I just moved all that shit over there, and I've unloaded a lot of stuff, but I have not found stakes anywhere. I'm guilty. Next time. <laughs> when I come pick it up. We didn't even think about it. When I come get in three weeks, we'll do it then. The dude okay. raises grass-fed cattle, oh, and like you would so think that somehow there was like <laughs> there was like steaks or something, and like yeah. and literally up. like I there is up. not. No, there's not. I won't, I won't mess up next time. I can't believe you. Put back up, trailer. We gotta load this thing back up. <laughs> I won't mess up next time. You can try again. You can try again in a little while. Yeah. Twenty extra hours just for that. Oh, oh, oh. Take, back, take back off and I'll bring the Actually, steaks. Actually, where the, where the Escalade's parked at, we're just going to push this there and then we'll bring it back in once you show up with take, some steaks. Take the hours back off and I'll bring the steaks. <laughs> on. Dude, yeah, it's on. And I you said, guys have been talking for two hours. I said I quoted this for like 10 hours and then I'm so. like, wait a second. This is well, I knew to be both, a of you, both of you are car guys, so I knew if I sent a list with five things on it, you would know the multiplier. Yeah. Because you've both done it long enough. Ten times, right? <laughs> <laughs> my wife is a seatbelt fanatic. She won't go nowhere without seatbelt. Right. We have no seatbelts in here. So right. my thoughts were to put the bar up here to hide between the windows. Yeah. Up and over. Yes. And one back here. Yes. The seat. Yes. And then one from the top here down at an angle. Yes. Kind of up. You don't want si sidebars. I don't think so. Okay. Do I? Ah. It's, it'll stiffen the car, but it's going to be a pain in the ass for you to get in and out. Well, this ain't a race car. I, have to right. it I just want if I tip the thing over, it might save my life. Okay. And the seat belts, we kind of want this two that bolt on to go right across the top, then go across the lap. Yes. No crutch. No. Right. Just it's something that we can find something that matches, you know, like a deep red and black. You know, the guy's hanging over here. Okay. And just, you know, pull fast onto the bar, go up and over, up and over, and one across. And we can go. Come on. I hope you enjoy working on it. Oh, I will. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to the Tom Bailey channel. And uh, let us know what you think. Let us know what you want to see more of. We're happy to show more details of what we're doing on this channel. So, thanks, guys.